All right, so for this demo, I'm going to show you something that's pretty cool. It's a it's an easy way to make your courses look a little bit more dynamic, and you're still working in PowerPoint. The only thing is that once you publish a course, what you're going to do is you're going to swap out your background flash file with your custom built flash file, and then you'll have something that's a bit more dynamic. So let's go ahead and see how to do this, and then you'll I think you'll really like the results. And I've I went ahead and included. Um, some files for you, so let's look at those. So what you have for files that you'll actually see is you're going to get um, animated files. So you're going to get the three button, four button, and five button uh, template, and then you're going to get the flash files that go with it. And so you're going to get a PNG file, which is a graphic file that you use for your template. And then I'm going to open this up, and then you'll get a little flash uh, file that looks like this that you'll swap out. And you'll see how all that works when we do that. So let's go ahead and move that off screen. Let's look in PowerPoint. I already went ahead and prepped some things. So what I have is I'm going to have a three tab uh, demo. So I have a screen that has three clickable tabs. And so what I have is I have my starting screen here. So I went ahead and did it in outline. So I have a main screen, tab one, tab two, and tab three. And so those are all set up here. So this is tab one, tab two, and tab three, and this is our main screen. And the and the idea is that the learners can be on a main screen to start, and then they'll choose uh, one of the tabs, and that's where they'll navigate to for more information. So what we want to do is we want to go to the slide view first. So we go to Slide Master, and then inside Slide Master. So this is the Slide Master here. So inside Slide Master, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and insert that picture. And in this case, it's a three button tab. And let's go ahead and look at it. So it's a three button tab here. So I'm going to insert that. And now I'm going to scale it to fit on my slide because this is actually designed to fit on the slide. I'll send it to back. So now this is my master. And I already pre formatted some things. So on my master, I've got my title area. And then I've got my uh, text box that's set to keep the text inside the white space. And then this will be my clickable tab area. What's nice with PowerPoint is you can have multiple masters. So I could also create another layout that's just specific to five tabs. And then if anytime I wanted it, I would just swap out my layouts. But we're going to go ahead and stick with one. So I've got my master set up. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. And now on the a master, what I want to do is um, label my tabs. So I'll just say these are going to be tab one, tab two, tab three. So I'm going to go ahead and insert shapes here and I'm going to add a text button. And let's just call this tab one. And I'll size it so it uh, works here. Um, and let me center it. And I'll bold it. So I've got my tab one. I'll just kind of center it in there and maybe make it a little bigger so we can see it here. So it's in there. So I'm just going to copy this tab one, tab one. Let's change this to tab two. Let's change this to tab three. And so now I've got that um, set. So that's what I want my tabs to look like. And I want to set hyperlinks. So what I want to do is click on this, uh, add a hyperlink. There's a hyperlink to tab one and hyperlink to tab two. And then we'll hyperlink to tab three. You can see how fast that is. So we basically have all our hyperlinks set. So we've got our main slide. Let's go ahead and copy this. So control C. And then we just go control V, page down, control V, page down, control V, and that's all set. So let's go ahead and test this. I want to make sure my slideshow is set up for the screen here. And we can test this to make sure our links work. So we're on the main screen. You can see up here I'm going to hit tab one. I'm on tab one, tab two, tab three. I can click around. So you can see that all my tabs are working. So it's exactly the way I want it to look. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some content to each slide so that we can see when we're actually working on the slide um, that they're changing. All right, so through the wonders of magic, what we have is 
some instructions. So I just say click the tab to see a picture. You're going to click a tab here and you're going to get these different pictures. So what we want to do first before we publish is we want to go to Slide Properties and set it so our slides don't auto advance. So what I'm going to do here is I've got my slides here and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they don't auto advance. So I'm going to I can select them all and then right click and advance by user. So now they're going to advance by user and they're going to wait for me to click on them rather than just auto advancing. And now we're going to publish it. All right, so here's our published course. So as we can see, there's our main tab. So I'm going to click. And then you notice I click the tabs and everything works the way I want it to work. Now here's where it gets really cool. So let's look at what a published file looks like. So let me go back to PowerPoint here. We can open that published folder. When we look at the published folder, if we go to the data file, you're going to see your flash files. So I happen to use Swift Player, which I talk about in the uh, core in the blog post. So Swift Player allows me to easily see the uh, the flash files and what they look like. So you can see here slide one, slide two, and slide three. Let's go ahead and click on slide one, and then you can see there's a slide one, and all you see is what's specific to the slide. You don't see the background information, and the reason is. The background information is right here on this slide. So this is background slide. And I click on it and then you can see this is our actual image file that we inserted. So what we want to do is swap this out with our flash file. So it's as easy as just going ahead and I'm going to take that flash file that we have and I'm going to copy it over here. So I've got my flash file that I just copied over here. And what I want to do is title it the same as the background file. So it's basically just changing it out. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to select that. So control C. And then I'm going to go ahead and I always do old here. And so this way I don't I don't lose my file. I just have to get rid of the word old. And then on this one I'm just going to repaste the background that we had on there. So let's go ahead and go back to that slide. So here's the slide as we're clicking on it, right? It doesn't look as great as it's going to be when we have when we replay it here. So I'm going to refresh it. And now we've got rollovers. So now I've got it looks like it's a rollover um, to click on. So it adds a little bit more dynamic uh, element to it than just the way it is without the rollovers. And what's nice about this particular technique is if you have some flash skills, you know, building rollovers isn't all that dip difficult to do. Is you build out um, little simulations like this that you can kind of, it's like a smoke and mirror effect where you can kind of trick the learner into thinking that um, these rollovers are actually on the slide, but they're not. But you can do things where, you know, the screens do certain things or whatever. You just have to remember the constraints of having that single SWIFT is a background file. So like in this case, it's really not the individual buttons that are rolling over for this tab. It's just that it's one file, one large SWIFT that has this rollover element to it. But it's a nice way to dress up your courses and it doesn't take a lot to do it. And hopefully you'll enjoy uh, the flash files I give you with that PowerPoint template.